today we are going to discuss about spectroscopy so before we begin what is spectroscopy it is the branch of science that deals with the study of interaction of matter with electromagnetic radiation it is derived from two words spectro and scopy spectro means spectrum or the band of colors and scopy means the method of observing light using an instrument we know that light is an electromagnetic radiation and it has got a wave nature in wave nature an em radiation consists of an oscillating electric field and an oscillating magnetic field which are perpendicular to each other the relationship between wavelength and frequency of oscillation of the wave can be written as c equal to nu into lambda where c is the velocity of light but em radiation also has a particle nature in particle physics em radiation is assumed to consist of discrete packages of energy called photons each photon possesses a specific amount of energy e referred as quantum which is proportional to the frequency of emission so we can write it as e equal to h into nu equal to h into c by lambda where h is the planck's constant which is equal to 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second and c is the velocity of light and lambda and nu are the wavelength and frequency of radiation so light consists of photons of different frequencies and thus different energies this range of photon energies is called an electromagnetic spectrum so an em spectrum can be arranged in the increasing or decreasing order of frequencies at one end we have got radio waves which are of very low frequencies but of very large wavelength of 10 raised to 3 meters Radio waves are used in telecommunication purposes owing to their large wavelength. On the other end, we have got gamma rays which are of very low wavelength of 10 raised to minus 2 nanometer but of very high frequency and high energy. Our visible light comes in the range of 400 to 700 nanometer. 